Yo, so what's up, y'all? It's uh, Friday morning. We're going in the BET to do a, a little showcase for Dundria for the BET people. Explain her whole project to them. So come on. Yeah. What are you doing right now today? Um, today I have a meet and greet with BET, and I'm going to sing a song and talk. All right. And you're gonna be nervous. Are you gonna be scared, nervous, like um, the last one? No, I don't think so. And really, after like the first interview, I was nervous. So was Chucky. I was a nervous guy. Not nervous anymore. All right. I pulled out my whole crew for this. This is the first time that everybody has always written with me. We always write separately. Whether it's me and Manuel, me and B. Cox, me and John Tay, whatever. We all are on this album. You know what I mean? So it's the first record where all of us worked on one record collectively and did all the songs. So, you know, for a new artist, she got like a dream team, production group, yeah. and, and everything. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to bring her in here now. Let y'all hear her sing raw the way that I found her so y'all can see that this is not, you know, no keyboard age and all that type of stuff because we're in that era right now. Um, so without further ado, introduce Dondria. Hi. Now, uh, I'm, uh, before, what you want to do, say you want to sing first or you want to ask any questions first? Anybody um, get any questions for her before she sings? Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Um, like I said, she she basically did this whole thing by herself and created this whole momentum on YouTube by herself. So I was a little, you know, um, pleased to see that too. It definitely shows um, that artists, if they want it bad enough, that they can create their own excitement, their own hype. They don't need people like myself or anybody to, to create the buzz and get it going. And, and she basically definitely did that. And uh, she did it well enough to get to me. So... Um, I always have questions on how she even thought to do it, um, and so if anybody else have any questions, if not, I'm going to let her sing this song for you, and uh, that'd be that. You're hoping when you started taping yourself and putting yourself online, what were you, what were you, were you hoping that someone would find it? Did you just do it for the love of it? What was, what was the, what was the um, reason? When I the goal, I should say. started it, I was doing it for the love, but after I started seeing the the reaction from everybody and the comments and stuff, then I started thinking, oh, maybe this, maybe this could be my little, you know, <laughs> my little way in. But I mean, at the beginning, it was just, I just want to sing a song. Aww. So before Jimmy, you had never been in the studio before. Like, you never arranged like your own music or anything like that. Um, that came after I posted videos on YouTube, cause then I started getting into the studio, cause people saw me and right. blah blah blah. So. Were you singing in the church prior? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I can hear that in your voice. That's a good thing. So, how many different videos have you? Do you have up there? Like, if you, did you sing like one song per video, or how, how did you? Yeah. Um. I probably, probably when he saw him, I had a twenty-four or twenty-five, and um, just. Whatever. I mean, if I found an instrumental or like if the fans would request a song, I would try to find it and sing it for them. Fan. <laughs> Being a fan and a participant in living the life. <laughs> well, uh, Dondria uh, or, or Fat Fat, which one, you, which one do you want? Which one would you rather go by? If you had to pick one, which one would you go by? Because I knew that was a burning debate on living life a while back. Yes. Um, I pick Dondria. I feel I'll like... Pick fat Fat. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the that's the actually right. the title of the album is called Dondria versus Fat Fat because that's like probably the the debate that you know started once I got into her life because I really feel like I feel like the fans that's that million four no Fat Fat I mean Dondria is her real name so you know but then once we ask them the question the fight continues as we still go and it's just back and forth with the kids just you know. I think the older people think Fat Fat is just like disgusting for artists that <laughs> sings to be the name and you know younger kids like Fat Fat so 
I like it because it sounds like some rap shit, but <laughs> hey. Um, hey, I guess. My steady heartbeat increases whenever you touch me no more. Lonely, you've cured me from that disease. I was cold and alone till I got lost in your charm. That's when I found me a place to belong. I've been kissed by the sun. My happy was misplaced somewhere in a dark place. Till you shined your light on me. I've been kissed by the sun. Um. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell y'all, but you know, um, like I said, the pace that we have on this is is a fast pace. Um, the single comes out Tuesday, like I said, and then six weeks after that, um, July 29th is the album date. And my goal for this artist is to make sure that I that I sell the records to the fans that's already made her, and and the goal is to make those fans continue to tell the rest of the world who they are, who she is. Because I think they discovered her, they found her, and they created this buzz. And for me to take them out of the play would be very, very wrong. So they're going to stay in this 100%. That's why we film everything that we do with her. So that the kids can continue to keep commenting. They can see what's going on with it. And they can stay you know, as focused as possible. So, you know, hopefully on the Tuesday they go and, you know, do something record-breaking with buying this single. Because they want to see her win so well so hopefully I'm on a new page of, of creating a way and a new avenue for artists to get discovered and we as all have to take it from that point and turn it into what we know we know how to do mm -hmm. alright so I want to thank y'all for you know cramming in this office on a Friday um, thank you. you know I mean I hope y'all like lunch yes, see some people did. but uh, the, like I said she was in New York so that's why I wanted to take advantage of this you know and uh, I thank you again. Thank All right. You. Thank you, 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 you perform sing on the live performances as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. I'm. Um. I guess another weird thing is that like I I can't sing in front of small groups. Well, I can, but I won't be as comfortable as mm -hmm. if I sing in front of like big groups. I don't understand that. I do. Because she's not seeing any of us. She's too much. She can see individual faces. What did you just do? You're not supposed to do that. I just did, I just did a showcase for BET and I answered some questions. <laughs> Four days away. Yeah. Right. iTunes and Amazon.com. If you don't have a credit card, you can go to the store and get a iTunes card and then that will solve your problem. So that should not be an excuse. Alright, how many days? Four.